thing about your investor care system is that it's really, really flexible as far as the look and feel and design of it is. So, and once again, we've said this in a lot of our video tutorials that the system is built with conversion in mind. So, uh, you don't have to go hog wild changing the look and feel of everything if you don't want to. Uh, but if you do want to, there are some things that you can do. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to update your navigation bar. So, this is what we call the primary navigation bar or primary navigation menu. Uh, this is your top navigation menu. And then all the way down at the bottom, we've got the footer navigation menu down here. Okay, so we're going to show you how to update the links here. We're going to show you how to update, uh, you know, let's say you don't want the properties for sale one, or let's say you want to put a different link in here, or you don't like the order of them or anything. Now you can see how here we created a drop down. I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff. Uh, if you're looking to change the color of your navigation menu, there's another video. Let's go ahead and type in navigation menu color or menu colors um, or branding into the help section and you'll come up with a video that will show you how to change the colors up here. For this video, once again, we're going to walk through how to change the structure, the links, the whole thing. So first of all, if you're logged into your, your system already and if you're looking at your, your web page, once again, there's this, this little bar that will follow you around on your web page. And all you have to do is go ahead and click edit page. I'm just going to go ahead and log out of this uh, account. So you can see I'm just going to then I'm just going to log into this as uh, the user. So if you're going to log into your main user account, that's of course where you do that. So I logged into the dashboard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hover down this way all the way to appearance. And appearance is where we're going to manage those navigation menus. Now go over to nav menus, click it. It's going to take you to our menus page. And you're going to see a few different sections here. I want to show you really quickly what they do. I'm going to show you how darn quick and easy it is to make your navigation menus look like you want them to. So first of all, the first thing you need to see is up here at the top, you'll have, you see these three different sections. You see footer navigation, header navigation, and main navigation. And I'm just going to open up the website again to show you what each one of those means again. So the footer navigation is the links all the way down here at the bottom. So that's these links right here. Okay, so you can see this one says investment property list, FAQR company, privacy policy, the whole thing. So you can see here investment property list, FAQR company, privacy policy. So that's where that is. Click header navigation. The header is at the very top. Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way back up here. You can see this one says home about us investors contact us home about us investors contact us so that's what that one is that's a header the main navigation is this right here so this current one says properties for sale it has our company then it has these three links underneath it, it as sublinks testimonials and blog so you can see here here's home properties for sale our company those three links under it testimonials and blog so now that we know where to go first to find the menu you, you want to work on, once again, find the, click the tab to find the menu that you want to work on. And we're going to work in the main navigation menu. Okay, so we're going to work right here. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to see is that, number one, you can drag and drop and move things around. So let's say you wanted the home page down here at, at, on the right-hand side. You just drag it over. Click Save Menu. Wait for uh, changes to take effect. And what we're going to see now is this home link is going to be over on the right side as soon as I refresh it. Okay, so I refreshed. So now you can see the home link was moved over. So I'm just going to show you how quick and easy once get us to move it back. So I'll move it up here. I'll move it all the way back. Let's say we wanted our testimonials page to be right up there next to home. Okay, I dragged it up there, dropped it, click save, come back here, refresh, and now we can see testimonials is right next to home. So I'm going to move that back just to put it back where it was. And one last thing I want to show you as far as the drag and drop feature. Um, the way that you can create sub menus, so you can see right here, here's a, these are, this is a sub menu. So the way that you create that is you just drag these things underneath a, a main uh, link and then you drag them over. So let's say we wanted testimonials to be within this our company sub menu. Okay, all we have to do is drag it over and let go. And you can see now it's it's under under our company but to the side. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Refresh. And you can see testimonials left up here but now it's going to be in this sub menu. So you can see it's right there. Okay? And it's as easy as dragging and dropping 
moving it over to get it back. Click Save, and it's done. So that's how to rearrange a navigation menu. Okay, so next what I'm going to show you is how to uh, edit the settings of the links in the navigation menu. So for a lot of users, um, I'm on a cash buyer site right now, and, and, and by default, the cash buyer website will link to your property listing page, okay? But a lot of people say that they don't have any properties to list yet, and they don't want people, of course, to be driven to a property listings page that has no properties. So one, one way that people are able to get around that is we just have to go ahead and tell them to drive their properties for sale to their squeeze page, to one of their squeeze pages, okay? So let's say we wanted every time someone clicked this properties for sale, we would rather have them just go to this, go to this lead page that's on their website, okay? So all we're gonna do is go ahead and open up the lead page or, or whatever page it is that you want people to go to when they click a link. Just grab that URL and copy it. So I just went ahead and grab it, copy it. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go to the properties for sale link. And there's this little arrow over here click it, some options will open up. Next, what we're gonna do is there's this little URL box. And in this, in this box, you can put any URL on the entire internet. So this is where you will drive, uh, you'll put a URL to drive people anywhere you wanna go. If you wanna, if you wanna, uh, if, if, if you're working on your main branding website and you have your properties for sale link on your main branding site, and when people click that, you want them to go to your cash buyer site, this is where you're gonna do that. So just go ahead and put the URL in, you can see, I put the URL to our demo website. You would, you would actually put your URL that's your full URL. So it's abcproperties.com, you know, whatever your, your URL is, okay? But for this sake, this is the URL to this demo website. And all we gotta do is click Save Menu. And you're gonna see after I refresh this, now rather than when I click Properties for Sale and going to the Property Listing tab, it's gonna to take to the squeeze page. So you can see right there how, how easy it is to uh, change where people go when they click links in your top navigation. So let's just go ahead and, and, and go back there. Um, now, and, and once again, you can do that with anything. So our company page, um, all kinds of fancy stuff. So I'm gonna show you a couple really cool things. So if you wanna add uh, links to your pages or delete links, it's really simple. So let's go ahead and say that we're deleting the, the testimonials link from our navigation, okay? That we don't want this testimonials link here anymore. All we have to do is click this under testimonials, click remove, it removes it from the list, click save menu, and you're gonna see testimonials is now gonna be gone. So that I just removed something from the menu totally, okay? So let's say we wanna add something to the menu. All we have to do is scroll down here and there's a few different ways to add things to the menu. You can either do a custom link, which a custom link is any page in the entire internet once again. So all you have to do is just put a, a URL in here. If you want people to go to your, um, your, your cash buyer site, once again, well, I'm just going to do a sample. You know, your cash buyer site here.com. Type that in, whatever, whatever the URL is. Um, a cash buyer, so it would be... Uh, investment properties. I'm just making stuff up here just to show you what to do. Click add to menu and automatically it's going to add this over here. Okay, so now you just go ahead and drag this to wherever you want it to be on the menu. Let's say I want it to be right here next to properties for sale, for instance. It's up there, click save menu and now you're going to see when I refresh this investment properties, if I were to click on this, it's going to take it to that that bogus website I created, that your cash buyer site here.com. But of course, once again, that can go to any link. You could put a link to your Facebook page, a link to your YouTube page, a link to anything at all right there using the custom links tab, okay? Next is really quickly and easily, you can add any page on your website to a navigation bar if you want. Let's say I wanna add this investors page, okay? And you can go ahead and scroll down and look at all the other pages that are on your website. Let's say I wanna add this investors page. All you have to do is click the check mark, add to menu. It adds it over here. And the cool thing is that you really can't hurt things over here, okay? You can delete stuff, you can add stuff. Just keep in mind that if you're deleting stuff off of here, if that's really something that you wanted up there, you're gonna have to re-add it back, okay? But uh, it's really easy to add stuff and, and delete stuff on here, move stuff around. So I just added this investors tab. Let's say I want it right here in front of blog. Drag it up, click save menu, go back here, refresh. And you can see now there's this investors link right here. And when I click on it, it takes me to my investors page. 
Okay, so there's a third way to add things to your navigation menus, and that is you can either add specific properties to your navigation menu, which I'm not sure why you would want to, but this ability is here, or you can add lead pages to your navigation menu. Okay, so the lead pages, um, let's say I wanted to add this passive investing report lead page to my menu. Same thing, check mark it, add to menu, go over here, put it where you want to put it. I'm just going to leave it there at the end. And let's say I wanted to change the name of it. So I want to change what it actually says. I, I don't want it to say passive investing report in the link. I'd rather just have it say free report. Okay. So all I did is I changed the label. So that's the name that's going to show up in the link. And I'm just going to go click save menu. Go down here, refresh. You can see now there's the free report link that I just grabbed. I'm going to click it and it's going to take me to that passive investing report. So now I'm going to go back and read and uh, reset everything I just did. So once again, I'm going to show you how to delete pages. So let's say I don't want this report in there anymore. Uh, we are done with it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Click remove. Okay. Uh, let's say I don't want this investors page here anymore. Let's go ahead and open it up. Click remove. Okay. And let's say I don't want this investment properties thing in here anymore either. Let's kind of go ahead and click remove. And now I will add back in. The testimonials page that I took out before, so everything is back to where it was normal. So I'm going to go into pages, scroll down until I see the testimonials page. So um, one thing you're going to find is in this little listing, there's this thing that says most recent, and that's the most recent pages that have been created. But you can always click this view all. That's going to bring up every single page that you have on your website. So I'm just going to go click view all, go down here to uh, testimonials, which is right there. Click add to menu. Once again, that's going to put it back over here. I'm going to move it where I want it to go, save menu, and done. So that's how you manage your navigation menus on your website. Once again, your footer navigation is at the bottom of your website. You can change the links there. Your header navigation is at the top of your website, the home about us investors, whatever is on the top of your particular website. You can move those around. You can delete them, add new, add new ones, whatever. Then your main navigation is the one right here that has all of that. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and refresh with all those changes. You can see it went right back to normal. And that's it. If you have any questions, always email us at support at oncaret.com um, or hit us up on live chat. And uh, go out there and, and customize your website. But like I said, don't get too hog wild getting bogged down in the details. And if you ever run into any issues or problems or get confused, email us. We're here for you.